the shift in the workforce comes as more workers realize they now have the upper hand. So that's what's driving this record number of resignations. And as Taylor Epps joins us to explain, it is causing what experts are calling Taylor rage quitting. Exactly, Ed and Katie. So I sat down with a local expert who says for every one person that's looking for a job, there are two open positions. So candidates know they have that safety net and more people are putting their foot down, packing up the desks and rage quitting. And that's where employees are quitting without a backup plan because they're fed up and they're at a breaking point. Rage quitting is a sign of a serious workplace flaw. So that's Shannon Callahan. She works in downtown Buffalo at Acara Solutions, trying to help companies fill those jobs every day. She says there's four reasons people are walking out. Number one, there's no flexibility at work. Now they say number two, workers are not being recognized for their contributions. Number three, they have no sense of belonging. And four, they don't feel respected by managers or coworkers. Callahan says if you're thinking of rage quitting, keep this in mind. That it's easier for your manager to find a way for it to work for you than to replace you. So if you are unhappy, make sure you are vocalizing it. There's a possibility that the company doesn't know. The second point I'll make is that <laughs> you really don't want to burn bridges, especially in a city like Buffalo. Yeah, so if word gets around, it could ruin future opportunities for you. Callahan also says employers should make sure to keep that line of communication open, create team events to boost morale, ask employees if they're feeling valued, and make sure they're being paid market rate. Mm -hmm. And both employees and employers should put mental health first. You know, it's interesting because those uh, bosses probably aren't thinking about letting you go versus keeping you, mm -hmm. uh, but the employees are thinking, I don't care what the boss thinks at that point. If they're not happy, they're just walking out. You have to be really, really frustrated, though, to just right. give it all up and walk right out the door. But I feel like before, you know, if you were frustrated, you kind of push through that. Uh -huh. But it takes a couple frustrations now for people to just be like, you know what? I know I can go get another job. Huh? So I'm out. I say deuces to that mm -hmm. awful.